Hi, my name is Kai, and today I want to talk about the new service from ePlan, which is called the ePlan Data Portal Request Process. In case you can't find the part which you need for your drawing within the ePlan Data Portal, you have now the possibility to request this part directly from ePlan. And ePlan will create the data for you, and you can use it then in your drawing. How it works, what you need to do and to prepare for this is part of this video. On LinkedIn, I made a small poll about three devices, which I want to select for this video. You have selected the Siemens AD module on position one, on two was the Phoenix Contact Motor Starter and on position three, Rockwell Armor Starter. For the English video, I select the Rockwell Armor Starter and the Phoenix Contact Motor Starter. For my German video, I have done it with the Siemens AD module and the Phoenix Contact Motor Starter. And now have a look how you can request your parts from ePlan. So before we start the request process, we need to check some settings in ePlan. So we go to the ePlan cloud and check the user management. Here in user management, you need to make sure that the ePlan data portal request process has the role of the designer. So that means you need to have the role of the designer. If you have the role of the user, you cannot use the ePlan data portal request process. So the first part we want to request is the Phoenix speed starter. So this one. Therefore, we copy the order number. Go to the data portal. And here we have now the possibility, for example, to search So this is not exactly the right part. So we search on this way. And now our part is not within the data portal. So we get a message, no part found. And we can click on please submit your part request. When we click on this, we have two possibilities. One is that we select the manufacturer so we can request from the manufacturer this is for free but you have no influence on how long it will take or if it really happens and what we want to talk about in this video is the ePlan request so we can order from ePlan and what you can see is here is that you need for this some ePlan credits how you can get these ePlan credits i will show later and now we click on order from ePlan and we have to fill in here the data for our part. So first of all, the manufacturer. This list is not completed. If you have some manufacturer which are not named here, you just can type in. But the most famous manufacturer, I think, are already there. Then you need the part type order number. I can paste it. The representation style. For this part, I will select the IEC style, the general generic product group we cannot select something here the category i think yeah, this is most probably a drive the mounting yeah the mounting for this device is a little bit difficult to say because we have a look here on mounting it can be mounted on a dean rail and it can be wall mounted so you have two possibilities that means we select for this combination of mounting methods the number of connections you can select 0 to 10 11 to 20 or more than 20 um, this drive has just input and output so i guess it's 0 to 10 you can add additional informations and what is very important the data sheet of the device you can add the link or you can upload the document i just copy the website link and add it here and now you have to agree here and here on the right side on the purchase you can now see what you will get later on back as the result it will be the parts data the function template 3d the drilling pattern and the connection point pattern and all of this costs in summary you five eplan credits so if everything is right you click on submit order you will get this small summary 
and you can click on send. And now you can see here which part I have already requested. And now we want to request the next part. So this time we made it a little bit different. What we want to request now is this Alan Bradley ammo starter. So I want to copy the order number. We go to ePlane. We go to the data portal. So, and here we don't go for search. We go directly here to part inquiry. And here order from ePlan. And now we need to fill in again all these data. So we use Ellen Bradley and this time I want to request the NFPA data. The representation type should be NFPA in inch. Electrical engineering. Um, I'm not pretty sure if this armor starter is a drive or maybe a field device. I keep it as a drive. Um, the mounting, I think it can be mounted on surface. The number of connection, I guess it's more than 20. And we need to add the link. So I copy the link from the website, paste. We need to agree here and get here for purchase. Also, all these information laid on back from ePlan and this costs me 12 ePlan credits. I click also on Submit Order. I will get the summer summary again, click on Send and it uploaded to ePlan. Now we have this here in our list again. And now we want to come back how we can buy these ePlan credits. You have here a small button, but I recommend you that you go back to the ePlan data portal. And here you have the card and you can click on this, you can buy the ePlan credits. So the minimum is 100 ePlan credits. When you add this to the card, you have it in your card and you can order it. First of all, you will get an offer for your 100 ePlan credits because I think that it's maybe different from country to country. And what is very important to know is that your 100 ePlan credits valid for one year. I think I zoom in a little bit. Yeah, after one year, they will expire. So you need to make sure that you request enough parts within one year. And now we just wait for the result of these parts. This will be shown in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.